I'm at Oz Agritech Investor Showcase 2024 and I am with Anna from Cropify. Anna, Hi, how are you going? Very well, thanks Tim. It's been a long day. It has, it you've, has. You've met with four investors now, yep. for three quarter of an hour a session. We have. How important is an event like this to you guys and to your business at this point of time? It's critical because otherwise trying to meet investors and make those connections, it's all cold. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's So an event like this, not only it's a warm introduction, but they're all in one place. So you're not having to pay to fly around Australia to meet with potential investors. And you've been matched up with investors that are in your sector sure. as well, which is yeah. great, isn't it? It's great. And yeah, ag tech is so important to Australia. It's great that we've got this community. And I'm, I'm super fascinated by your ag tech. So Cropify mm -hmm. is taking the human element out of classifying and um, grading grain. Correct. We already do protein and starch by machine, yes. so it's not replacing that. No. But what it's doing is it's using AI. Can yes. you explain a little bit about what your product does? Yeah, sure. So you're right. So at the moment, objective testing out of the classification process, there's two bits that are already objective, and that's protein and moisture. So yep. that's done with machines. But there's so that's large, unaltered. That's fine, yep. But there's this large component, which is still literally done by the human eye. So the classifier has to be trained to be able to identify insect damage, mould, any defects and weed seeds. And arbitrarily allocate a percentage of that sample to that yeah. characteristic. Yeah, so they'll literally pull, pull them out, put them into a different bowl and then weigh them at the end to get a percentage of defect. Yep. So instead of a human doing that, um, basically the sample goes into our machine and gets analysed up in the cloud and the results come back down. So photos are taken and our software analyses that sample. So all that all that subjectivity is gone. So the grower knows that the sample is 100% exactly what was there. Yes. The buyer knows that the sample is exactly what they say it is. Yes. And internationally, Australian grain with extra precision will increase in its reputation. Correct. So you're the end buyer will be confident that they're getting actually what they ordered because the result, those tests will be objective. So if you've ordered grade one lentils, you'll get grade one lentils at the other end. So you're going into commercial trials this year? Yes. A really exciting thing. Very exciting. And that's what's brought you here to this investor showcase because as people who are in the industry know, getting a product through to commercial trials is probably the most um, economically intensive period of, of your research and development, isn't it? It certainly is. So, you know, startups, everyone goes, oh, you're a startup. Yeah. It's actually been a five year journey. You know, it's not like it was six you're years You're a long ago. up. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're yeah. a long up. I uh, didn't have grey hair at the start of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's been five years yeah. and we've had four prototypes. Okay. And we've shown uh, potential customers the development of the prototype and how well the results were going about a year ago. And we've been developing since then to get to commercial pre-production uh, prototype stage, if you like, so it'll be very close to our final hardware. Um, yeah, and doing a commercial trial with actual customers, inviting growers along to have a look, inviting media to come and have a look if they want. I can't wait. So, yeah, it'll be very exciting. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, and I suppose the, there's not a lot of cost impost on any stage of the growth cycle because it is just a small piece of machinery in that final stage. As you mean for us? I, I mean for the growers and I mean for the producers. No, so we've been really mindful the fact that we want this um, technology to be used in every place in the supply chain that currently a classifier is doing that subjective testing. So we've made sure we've kept the hardware costs down as much as we possibly can. So it'll be a lease system as well. So the grower or the bulk handler won't have to buy the hardware. It'll be a lease and that'll be part of the software lease. So they're not buying something that's going to be out of date in three years time. Correct. They're just getting the technology that they need today Correct. to improve their game. Correct. Because, you know, if we improve, if we decide we want to change the cameras for some reason, yep. we want to make sure that every test is being done with the right cameras. So, and that's why we're doing a lease. So we can replace bits of hardware if we need to and make sure it's got the most up-to-date technology in there without someone having to outlay a grower having to outlay costs for a piece of hardware that might be obsolete in two years. Well Anna I have a very strong suspicion we'll be hearing a lot more about Cropify in the future. It's been fantastic talking to you today. Thanks Tim. And it's great that you're getting involved in this showcase and you're getting value out of it. We so that's fantastic. Are. Thank you. Yeah.